Where right now we're happy. We're there'll happy. be plenty. There'll be plenty of time. Yeah, we collectively are happy. There'll be plenty of time for rage later. But as we mentioned, Nebraska did go on the road last night at Indiana, and they beat the Hoosiers. Uh, and it's the first conference road win of the season. It had to feel good uh, for Coach Hoiberg and company because it wasn't just a win. It was a double-digit Big Ten conference win on the road. Um, and, it, you know, it, it was what we've continued to see from this team getting production from a lot of different places. You know, um, some, I don't want to say necessarily unexpected, like Casey Tominaga had 20 points, but uh, Jamarcus Lawrence had a career high 19. You know, just people, players on this team continually step up. And it's really great to see. And it's that added, it's that depth that I really think is going to help them uh, here in a few weeks when we get to the Big Ten tournament and you know, hopefully beyond in, in the NCAA men's basketball tournament. You know, um, you know you, go ahead. Go ahead. It okay. was fun. It you was just go fun. Back you know, to Nebraska baseball. just beat the hell out of <laughs> Murley. They were ahead by 20 at half. And then the, at the beginning of the second half, oh, that's interesting. That looks very ESPN like. You What? Uh, what? Who's doing this? Put somebody else in the middle, though. I feel like I'm surrounded. I don't know how anyway, to Anyway, Nebraska was up by 20. Uh, you know, they lost the lead, and Indiana started coming back, and they looked like they have all year on the road where they weren't rebounding. They weren't turning the ball over a lot, but they weren't rebounding. They were missing shots. They were, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Indiana couldn't miss anything, and the lead went down, and Twitter exploded. Nebraska Twitter went absolutely batshit insane. You know, somebody tweeted at me, if they lose this, they don't deserve to be in the tournament. And I, I, The last guy that said me said something to that like that on Twitter, I told the fuck off. But uh, this time I had a more measured response that was, oh, come on! You know, <laughs> it, it wasn't typed like that, but that's what I thought. And then, uh, you know, Lawrence hit a three-point shot and Indiana suddenly went, oh, God, we suck again. And they sucked for the rest of the game. And uh, Nebraska kind of just took it away from him. What was really nice to see, you know, it was nice to see it on the road, regain their composure and, uh, you know, just start hitting shots and playing well again and start taking the game back over. And then the end, they had a crowd booed. And, you know, on Twitter, when what happens when, uh, like, Indiana men's basketball, the official tweet, you know, Twitter account, tweets something, the memes start coming back at them. And I guess this is a thing for people to do with bads. That's not just a Nebraska thing. Apparently, people do this all over the place, and uh, they're pretty funny. You need to go look at them. I should have I, – if I was prepared, I would have brought up a couple of them. Yeah, thanks for giving me a lot of warning <laughs> on that. I could have, I could have I prepared some of those earlier go in the look. day. Well, there was – there was I, I put one look. in the Slack room, you know. You Wait. lost to Gary, comma, Indiana. <laughs> oh. I don't know why this is so stupid. I just thought it was hilarious. That's kind of uh, funny. Um, so I love I love to say this because I this is what I love about basketball. You win by the three, and you die by the three. Well, that's certainly true for Nebraska. Yeah, I was going to say yeah. we it, made thirteen three pointers last night. Now, how many did we take? How many attempts did we have? I don't know. <coughs> you can you can look that up. I'm going to. Don't worry. I have but 38 different windows open, but I, know. I have the stats right in front of me. <laughs> You're dead. Uh, we oh were, my God, I, we were 14 of 33 for 42.4% well, from you the You know, 40% is pretty good. 42% is pretty decent. Here's the thing. It's not just that Nebraska has, you know, they're hovering around, I think, 40 to 44% from beyond the arc, but what they're doing is they're forcing other teams to try to match that, you know, and, and, take, and so a lot of teams had shots. Yeah. Right. Um, now, Indiana didn't look like they necessarily played in that game. They only attempted 21 uh, threes. They made four of them. So I know hey, and it's, so, oh. it's so terrible because the Hoosiers consider themselves a blue blood program. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they haven't done anything since Bobby Knight was young, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, that is so terrible. 
But what what happened with um, Rank Mast? Didn't he just like only have two points last night? Yeah, he didn't. He didn't play that well. You know, and that's okay. Sometimes rank, somebody tweeted at me, Rank Mast is the most frustrating player ever. I mean, they have off nights and they have good nights. The key is they have enough depth that somebody else can make up for it. Nick right. Brown from my hometown of Curtis, Nebraska says, Indiana sucks at free throws. That's funny. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't realize they were the worst team in the Big Ten at free throws, but it's hilarious because they're Indiana. You know what I mean? This kind of like us sucking at basketball or at football and people making football. fun of us. It's, well, Paul, yeah. this is, I think, and I've seen this comparison in the past, but is, I think it's very accurate. They are the Nebraska of college basketball. <laughs> you know, they're they're living on the glory right. of, uh, of of years past. 20 years ago. Now, I mean, we talk about, you know, rank master. Yeah, he only had two points, but we had, uh, you know, Tominaga had 20. We mentioned Jamarcus Lawrence with 19. Bryce Williams had 18. Jawan Gary had 15. Um you know, Wilcher, who was so pivotal in that win against the Wisconsin, had two. So, I mean, again, you just never know who's going to step up. But you get f four guys with 15 or more points. That's I think that's one of the more balanced offenses in the conference. I don't I don't follow everybody. I got a pretty good yeah. idea. Well, we got and we got it together on defense in the second half. I felt like so that. Yeah, you're right. And it should be stated that I was working till almost ten o'clock and didn't see any of the game. So I'm just making it up oh. as I go. Let's let's not overlook really? that fact. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's ten thirty last night. I got up at, uh, this morning and my wife said, uh, I knew we won. And I said, how'd you know we won? And she said, you stopped screaming profanities at the TV. <laughs> because I, I, she went to bed when I screamed at her. But why are you screaming profanities? We weren't behind at all oh, last night. Indiana, listen. Do you not know John? You looked at the foul <laughs> shot discrepancies, and and you know I think many, or Nebraska had like five, six free throw attempts, and Indiana had twenty one or something. So for the game, uh, I, I didn't ahead. mean to interrupt you. Yeah. So uh, Indiana had twenty four free throw uh, attempts. They made fourteen. Nebraska had fourteen uh, attempts and made nine. So, but the one that, the when I screamed at her is they called Tom and Aga for traveling, and I went nuts. And she goes, "We well, he would did travel," and I went, "It's five steps at home." And they did. I love. They just, I love that like your mic cuts out. Game. What's that? <laughs> I love that your mic cuts out when you start screaming for Does the it? entities. I didn't know that. <laughs> at least it did on my end. <laughs> on the next uh, available soon at the store at copycorn.com, she went to bed when I screamed at her. The next big t-shirt. <laughs> but I did. Um, She's like, he did travel. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's just because something's true doesn't mean you have to bring it up all the time. So, <laughs> um, Okay. Top of the ninth, Nebraska, seven to two, one out. We got uh, runners at second and third. And well, it's a good Aaron Ross Dabosky is right. I right, it's still the you want to try you want to try pronouncing that again? Which one? Ross Dabosky. Aaron Rostovsky. Aaron Rostovsky. Her first name's Aaron. Yeah, Rostovsky. You Rostovsky. hired him. Get your head. I out did hire him. I call him Aaron because that's his name. I call him Sweetie. No, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> It's all fun, kids. Um, yeah, James says very looking very much like the uh, NBA. There were several tr several travels during the game that weren't called, but they called that one. Okay, he watched. John. There you go. See, <laughs> you're welcome, Aaron. Um, let's see, Brando Sports World. The only thing that would made this win even better is if Tom Crean was still Indiana's coach. He hated that guy. You know, he was, he had, I think that you could have a big 10 basketball coach scowl, con, scowl contest and Tom Crean just was so good with his facial expressions. I mean, I would love it if he, he's right. I would love it if he was there now and we beat him last night and he would just, you know, do that shit he does with his face and just, you know. Uh, your Fran McCaffrey going completely ballistic. It's it, it's so fun to get to watch that part of basketball. 
Fred Hoiberg rarely ever gets really like he's not scally. Danny Nee can scowl like a son of a bitch. Fred Hoiberg, you can see him cuss every once in a while, but and you know, I respect a guy that cusses, but um, <laughs> we know you do, John. Good scowl. Ben Johnson, Minnesota guy, almost went after an official the other night, he had to be pulled back by one of his people. I didn't think he had that in him. Now that's entertainment. That's right up Fred's that. alley. <laughs> Wrestling. Going to the bottom of the ninth, up seven to two. All right, only but this is seven this is where we lost minutes. the last two games. This is about where we're going to lose John. I'm afraid. Why uh, is that? Because you'll lose interest in us and focus on baseball. I said I just have a score sheet thing up here. I'm not watching anything live. Sure. Um, so in the comments, uh, we got a, a return from the legend living in Omaha, David Matney, who says good evening. And in recognition, because, again, we're such a, a terrific community here, Fred says, living in Omaha, David Matney, there you are. It's been a minute. We need your counterbalance of common sense here. So uh, uh, that's a, a very nice uh, uh, comment. And and David, for sure, we, we get a lot of ridiculous questions and nobody's denying it. Nobody's complaining. But Mr. Matney always brings some really good questions that are topical so um welcome back david and uh all right so let's we, let's, we talked we talked about um a, a little bit of a look ahead to nebraska schedule the next one is always the most important one minnesota sunday at home as many said it's sold out uh you can watch it on the big 10 network which is what i will do we are ranked fifth in the conference and i want to say minnesota's like ninth? not good yeah, not very good. So hopefully we're not going to take this as, you know, just laying down and we go in and kick some Minnesota butts. Yeah, John, I, does Rotten what? Sun care about basketball? Or does it just like to rub your, your face in football? You know, he, he, he cares if they're good and they're not really that good. Although they're not at the bottom of the conference – I think, you know, when you looked at the preseason, everybody expected Minnesota to be at the bottom. And I think they're like fifth or sixth. But, you know, if here's here's what Rotten Sun does. Rotten Sun comes downstairs from his his palace room, you know, with his nice computer where he lives. He comes down the last two minutes of games when he knows we're possibly going to lose them. <laughs> oh, and then he just stands, you know, I sit on the couch here and he stands like over here, right out of my peripheral vision. And I'm like, what, what are you doing now? You fuck. And, and he's like, bleh, bleh, bleh. I know he'll never watch this. So he'll never get that impression of it. <laughs> and then he, he plays. Drive. It would drive me crazy to live with somebody like that. Well, I can't beat Absolutely him because he crazy. has a mother that lives here too. Yeah. Uh, so I if, find a way. if we are, <laughs> if we somehow lose to minute, it would look like we might be losing, you know, that's what's going to happen toward the end of the He's game. Is it? <laughs> uh, no. So if, I wonder if he has like a Google alert to, that'll tell him to score at the score in the last five minutes of the game. <laughs> He runs down real quick. Huh? I think I think that he he watches the game. He just watches the games on his monitors. Mm. Yes, yeah, yes. Well, he's like six monitors. You know. As far as men's basketball is concerned, yes, uh, Nebraska is fifth in the conference. They're nine and seven in the conference. Minnesota is uh, seventh in the conference at eight and seven. Um, you know, Nebraska is eight and zero at home. It's a home game. Uh, Minnesota's two and five on the road. It's a good opportunity for Nebraska to keep, you know, inching along. And and uh, I mean, let's face it, at the end of the day, Nebraska's grateful or, or should be grateful that of the twenty-seven games that they've played this year, seventeen of them have been at home. There's just something wow. different about the Pinnacle Bank Arena. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's. I mean, I I remember. The first, I don't know what that was about, but no sit Sunday was like the, the real first. It, and maybe that's recency bias. And we're going to talk about that recency bias later on as well. But that was like my first real 
wake up call to the Nebraska basketball fans, you know, um, Mm -hmm. that fateful Sunday against Wisconsin. Um, But this year they've just been next level. Uh, And, and again, it's, it's being noticed. I'm not going to put the graphic up, but you know, it's been, it's being noticed by um, outside, you know, disinterested parties that, that the um, like the student section and and how uh, they're, affecting games. So Nebraska can take care of, you know, they've got two more at home. They got two more on the road. Um, realistically, I think they, that Rutgers game might be the most difficult of the bunch. Um, well, yeah, that is kind of weird. Yeah. Didn't we just now, um, did we beat the record for home wins on the last? I so. Uh, no, no, no. Two games ago. Yeah, we did. did. We? I don't, you sure? I thought it was yeah. 18 wins. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure. So this next one will actually surpass it if we win. Somebody when? in chat will probably correct me if I'm wrong, but. I What the hell, Aaron 